So, uh, if I go over here... So, um, what, what am I blocking? I'm blocking your camera? No, you will be blocking that camera. So, what are we looking at here is on our... If I can change these to shrink them out of the way. That one goes up there. And the neutron detection goes down there. So, what you're seeing here is everything since the start of the run. Uh, guide counter is in red, the six lithium is in green, and what, I'm going to just shrink this down. This here is the 511 kV range, which if I bring up the spectrometer, is this sort of area here, this region of interest. And there's nothing there at the moment, so it'll be sinking down. It's just started a new sample. So, there was nothing there for, <laughs> for well, that, that six something to seven, eight, nine, ten, so three and a half hours or something. Uh, and then this started to happen, and we don't know when it's just gone way off the scale. Oh my god, okay, I'm getting quite scared now. Alright, okay, let's get this lead shield in. At least the sodium iodide will be protected. Okay, so it went in and it's come out again. And in theory, it's a little bit high. Is it? Yeah, it's a little bit high. You've still got a bit of a solid angle free there. Still high, we've got. Yeah, that's mostly it. That's mostly it. That's that's going to attenuate a, a good chunk. Okay. Do we have complete coverage there? Um, yeah, pretty much. The, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's really killing the solid angle. So, okay. So, <laughs> uh, the question is. Does that make any difference at all to what was just shooting up there? Uh, well, at first glance, yes, but then that might just be luck of the draw. Let's see when the next minute sample comes in. La di da di da. What happens? Does it go down or does it go up? Is it going down on average? The rolling average? This is a rolling average. I'm seeing no up. Well, it was at its highest point when you started to put the shield in. It, now, much, much higher. It's now below the, uh, the midpoint of... Um, yeah, well, the rolling average is rolling, so let's see where it goes. Uh, I mean, it's going to attenuate about 60% from peak, so. Oh, we jumped up a little, but it's still at the mean. Well, the attenuation, it's attenuation, so it was by far the highest when just when you put the lead shield in. Let's see. Okay. Kids, if my gonads are being fried, then uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? Is it going down? Way down. Oh my god, Skip. Should we wake up Alan? He's going to be really annoyed. But he might be really happy as well. Should we wake him up? Is there anything that he can do? 
No, but it's a moment, isn't it? If that hits zero, uh, we we might just have demonstrated P and Telly in a in an experiment that actually, if you just get the super expensive stuff we've got in there, <laughs> it should be quite easy for people to replicate. Of course, it's probably down to. Uh, Alan's uh, super saturated nickel. There we go. Does that look coming down? Does that look like it's coming down from a peak? It just jumped up. Well, yeah, but it's attenuation, isn't it? So we've, we've, we've got more than a third still left. Nearly 40% of whatever the signal is still getting to the scintillator. Lead shield is in. This is a control central. Doesn't seem much of a change. Let's, uh, we can zoom into that, can't we? He says. Can we? <laughs> we can zoom into it. I know we can. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's go in here. Right, so. This, right here, when it actually hit its peak, which was what, how much? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put it to a single. That was 8.4. The previous peak for that was 5.4. And over there, the first peak, 5.4. So this is 8.4. And this is just when... That's interesting. Look, that's gone up a little bit. But anyway, this might, might be just suggestions. Okay, so... And then he put the lead in here. And this has happened. So this is the zero line. The, the rolling average to the zero line. So we'll just leave it in for a little while. Yep. So just zoom that back again. You get to see the uh, the whole thing here. Just a. Uh, Actually, I'm going to turn off the GMC and the 6 lithium on this, so you can see. So, absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing. These are rolling minute averages. Then there's these couple of neutron bursts here on the blue neutron, which is the uh, neutron detector A. I have to ask Alan which one that is. <laughs> and... I can tell you that. Oh, really? Which one's neutron detector A? This would be interesting because one's more tuned to fast and the other one's to slow. Okay, well, B is, is, is pointing back. Yeah. A is pointing up at the reactor. So A is targeted more towards thermal neutrons. And A is the one that got those spikes. So that's consistent with what we would expect if uh, I wasn't wildly guessing. <laughs> wow, that's really, look at that, dear. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess the next thing is now it's sitting at the bottom there is to remove the lead shielding, isn't it? You want to give it a little more time or just uh, I can um, pull it any time? No, no, let, okay, let's give it a little more, more time. Oh God, look at the neutrons coming out there. This is the sl slow neutrons as well. I think right now we're going to have a big spike because whilst it's not a high number of neutrons here, you see, it's a big, dense pack of them. Let's go there. Right. See, nothing, nothing. It's just nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, I'm scaling in now. So 
So there's nothing for three and a half hours or something. And then this. Right, it's gone down to zero. We've managed to let this attenuate sufficiently so it's gone all the way down to zero. Right, so I think probably now let's let's pull it out of there. Well, now that it's down to zero, let's leave it for a Okay, all right. Now. Yeah, no, let's do it. You're right, you're right. <clears throat> So just to go over this again, I slide this back. So you'll see there's just a couple of points right when it was turned on. Uh, and then basically it, the rolling average per minute was zero uh, from just before 6.30 to 7.30 to 8.30 to 9.30. Uh, 9 30 10 so 6 30 7 30 8 30 9 30 yeah three and a half hours is literally nothing and then there's this what would be our uh higgins detector tuned to thermal neutrons is a little bit higher here and then it starts going up and up and up and up so until we got a peak here, just fortunately as we were putting in the uh, thermal shielding and it went all the way down to zero. But we've had these bursts of uh, thermal neutrons here, about 60% to so 40% of the neutrons are going to go through. Sorry, the um, 511 keV uh, is going to go through. So I'm just going to let this sit here for a little longer and then remove the shield and see what happens then. I just don't want to be in here that long, that's my problem. We can do more of this tomorrow. Because <laughs> there's a tight group of thermals here, so the solid angle to that detector is only going to see a few of the neutrons released. Um, but obviously the solid angle within the nickel, if it's releasing these protons and they're hitting the 18 oxygen and knocking out a neutron, right? Actually, the, yeah, well, well, whatever, these won't be thermal neutrons, they'll be fairly fast. They could be thermal, too fairly fast, like 0 to 2.8 MeV. Anyway, so if you get a burst of neutrons there, that's a rep if it is coming from in the cell, which we don't know that, but if it is, then um, that means that in the cell, there's a lot, <laughs> if that's where they're coming from, rather than just from the environment. And so they should create a, a big signal. And that's quite a dense pack there. It's much denser than anywhere else we've got there. So where else could there be a source that would hit the... Uh, source of neutrons. Yeah. If we had a source of neutrons, we, we'd be n found yes. easy to... Okay, uh, outside of our little uh, little playhouse here, mm -hmm. where else could we get a source that could read like this? A 511 keV photons? Mm -hmm. Well, what concerns me is that when we were trying to detect 511 keV photons from our um, sodium-22 source, it would barely register it. <laughs> it would barely register it, which means there's probably quite a few. So... I think is now is the time to remove the lead shielding. No, take a look at the activity. If there was no activity, I, I completely agree with you. No, my concern is this is the most densely packed neutrons here, and I don't want to be sitting around in here for too long. I want to watch from the other room because mm -hmm. this this should go up with this packing of neutrons. Okay, what can these neutrons do to a human body? Well, the longer you're exposed to them, they can do things to your DNA, can't they? Okay, well. Besides that, because that is not an issue for me. Well, it might be for an issue for me. I've got young kids. Yes, I understand. <laughs> but I can be in here to re um, to move um, the wind, uh, the uh, the curtain. But I want to get it on the same shot, and we're already fifteen minutes into this. We can do this all week. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel we've falsified yet. There's 
a sacrifice, and it's only in as far as future children are concerned. This is not an issue. Yeah. Um, can, can we can we remove the shield so that I can finish this video, and then you can do it as many times as you like throughout the night? No, that's, that's not what I <laughs> As long as you're sure that taking taking this this curtain off of there so that we can expose them again is is going to tell us something. Okay. Well, in theory, it's theory, going down now. I mean, if you had seen a peak like this before, from zero to this point, yes, you would have freaked out. So, what I would like to see is really low and really stable for a while. Um, you're not going to get that because we've got 40% of the new, of the 5.11 kV going through. Mm -hmm. What it was, you, you put in the, <laughs> the lead Just here there, yeah. uh, and it basically went down in a, uh, until it got to the attenuated okay, level. But, but we, have to do, we have to raise and lower the curtain a number of times before we falsified that or we... See, we're down to zero now, and if it stays at zero for several I, I, minutes... I would take it out now, now that it's at zero. Otherwise, we'll be waiting for another slot for zero, and I'll run out of hard, a hard drive space on my phone. Well, I don't give a damn about your phone, quite I, frankly. I do, because I want it in one take. <laughs> <laughs> I want it in one take. We can do this a hundred times in the next three days. I'm removing the curtain. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay do we see it go up or does it just sit there so it's a rolling average it won't happen immediately Well, it did go up into a straight line, <laughs> just slightly above the previous peak. Uh, it's going down now.
So the other test that Mr. Goodrice wanted us to do was to check the silver on the uh, um, LN7317, which we can do quite easily. Which would? These, these silver coins. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Uh, you said it's not easy? No, it should be really easy. Yeah. If we can find it, then I would do it. I can get it, I know where it is. Hmm? Yeah, okay. It? Well, it's keeping above zero. So, this is this is the story. That's when you put the shield in. It collapsed down to zero, uh, averaging. There was a bit going up, and then it went down, and we started at zero, and it went up, and then it came down to this level. So, we shall see. We had this burst of neutrons here, but we had it shielded between here and here. And we've had a gap of nothing uh, in the neutron sense. So, I'm, I'm, you know, it's not, in my opinion, conclusive. No. It's not conclusive. But if this is a sign of things to come, like when we get to the sort of 300 degrees, um, things might be very interesting.